Hi, it's wonderful to see you. And I'd especially like to thank Peer Group Software for hosting us today. Let's get on to the video. Yeah, so recently we covered uh, the second conditional. Oh, goodness. Uh, yeah, I sang a song Into My Arms, and if you haven't uh, watched it, so you can check it. Yeah, definitely check that out. Yeah. Lane is an amazing singer. Oh, uh, yeah, flattering. That's what brings in all the views. Let's yeah. see. And uh, I'm going to ask you just a few question, uh, questions in the second conditional. Okay. Yeah. So, if you had a superpower, what would it be? If I had a superpower, I would like to be able to fly, but that's a boring answer. I would like super speed, but that's a boring answer. I've got a good answer. Mm -hmm. I would like to be able to understand any language. That's amazing. Yes. Yeah. And of course, that doesn't just mean that I can talk to anyone around the world. We're in an IT company today. What do we use to program? Programming languages. Oh, yeah. So I'd not just be a master of chatting with everybody and using my skills to talk to people in whatever country. I'd also be a master coder. You would be uh, an extremely dangerous person. Unstoppable. Uh, yeah, I bet. And if I could have a superpower, yes. I think that... Uh, I would like to not gain weight, to eat whatever I want and not gain weight. Uh, and if you could make one change to the world, what would it be? If I could make one change to the world... Yeah. I... Hmm... I guess I'm supposed to say something good, like global warming, I uh -huh. fix climate change. <laughs> or i get rid of war. But if I could change one thing about the world, I think I would get rid of seagulls. <laughs> Why? I really hate seagulls. I They're just cute. Don't like cute. Yeah. I had a fear of them when I was a child. I don't like them now. So, sorry, world peace. It's no seagulls from here on out. If I could change one thing about the world, I would get rid of seagulls. Uh, okay, and if you could uh, go back in time, yeah? Mm. Uh, what year would you go to? Excellent question. I've always had an affinity for the Roaring Twenties, so perhaps I would go back to the 1920s. Possibly because it was still very hopeful, although there were a lot of issues, I guess. Mm -hmm. But if you go too far back in time, mm -hmm. this is something for all those people writing their sci-fi scripts out there, it would be impossible to understand English. The further you go back, more English changes. I could just about manage to survive in Shakespearean times, maybe, because of my training. But if you go back more than three or four hundred years, mm -hmm. you're going to be in trouble. That's a whole different language. You'd need my superpower. So, yes, for me, time travel, let's say sometime in the 20th century, I'd stick to the 1920s, I think. Mm -hmm. Or maybe... The 1960s. Mm -hmm. But I guess that's what everyone's answer is. I think the 1920s yeah. are the best for me. Uh, I think that uh, that's my answer as well. The 1920s? Why the 1920s for you? No, 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 20s, 60s. Oh, the 60s? The 60s, so yeah. So I told you. Mm -hmm. uh, because I, I love the, the music for this time. So. That is very much your era, yeah. 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 And now I'm going to ask you just a few boring questions, if you don't mind. Okay, let's uh, get them out of the way. Yeah, so what would you do if you were independently wealthy and didn't have to work? If I were independently wealthy and didn't have to work, I would probably go mad. <laughs> because I like to work. I need to work. If I'm not working, I feel there's something wrong with me. I would find work. Mm -hmm. I would make work for myself. 
Uh, maybe I would form a charity. I'd like to think if I was a nice person, <laughs> or I would form a business and invest in it. It's a boring answer to a boring question, but if I were independently wealthy and didn't have to work, I'd take a lot more holidays, and then I would work a lot harder. Uh, that's not because I'm a great person. That's simply because if I'm not working, I'm going out of my mind. Uh, all right. And if you could change one thing about your current job. About my current job? Yeah, yeah. What would it be? That's a great question, because I love my current job. If I could change one thing about it, I would change it. I would just change it. So, oh, if I could change one thing about my current job, I would... try harder to learn Russian. I'm trying right now, and I'm very bad at it. Uh, and so, if I could change one thing about myself in my current job, it mm -hmm. would be to try harder to learn Russian. I'm on it right now, but it's it's slow progress. I don't envy you. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. It's a terrible language to learn. <laughs> Compared to English. <laughs> uh, not so sure. Yeah. What's the next and one? And if you had an extra two hours of time every day, what could you do with the time? Sleep. Sleep. I think everyone would say sleep. If I had two extra hours, I would probably sleep. No, I would read. I'd read more. I used to read a lot. I think everyone has this complaint now. They don't get to read as much. If I had two hours, I would mm -hmm. like to think I'd spend them reading, but maybe I'd just spend them playing video games. Mm. If I'm a better person, let's say reading. Let's stick with reading. Yeah, I'm afraid that I would procrastinate more. Okay. Uh, yeah. And if you could have a dinner with anyone in your field, who would you have dinner with? In my field? Mm -hmm. In education. Well, I'm lucky that my father's a great teacher, so I could just have dinner with him. But uh, that's for you, Dad. No, I'd quite like to chat with David Crystal. His concept of world Englishes was really influential when I was starting out in teaching. And so I'd like to explain to people that there's actually not just one English. And that's both a good and a bad thing. It's scary and it's uplifting because you think you might learn English and then it turns out... You've only learned one form of English. There's so many more to learn. But it also means that whatever form of English you speak, that's an English. There's no the English. There's many forms of English. And so your English is your English. Ukrainian English, British English, American English. They're all different forms of the same language. And uh, I'm so grateful to you because you recommended his book about globalization. Oh, yes, of language? Yeah. Absolutely. So I think you'd be a great dinner guest to chat about education with. I could learn a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, and probably just two more questions. Okay. Uh, if you could have a drink, what would you have? Right now? now? Yeah. I drink a lot of water. You know that about me. Uh, so it would probably be water. It's a school day. It's a weekday, so definitely nothing alcoholic. I do have a problem where I like soft drinks a lot. Mm. So I drink a lot of soft drinks if I'm not careful, uh, but I am careful. I try to drink less and less of them, so I'll be a good boy and I'll save water for now. Okay, and what would you do if I didn't bore you uh, with this interview? You're not boring me with this interview. Uh, I love talking about myself. I'm very vain, you know, uh, but what would I do next right now? Boring answer, I'd probably go shopping. Cool, so yeah, that's cool. All right, thank yeah. you very much, Lena. Yeah, thank you very much, it was very interesting. And guys, if you don't remember, we use if plus past simple in the if clause, right? And in the main clause, we use would, should, could, might. All our modals, yeah. yeah. Would, should, could, if I could, then I would. Yeah, and just a normal verb. That's it. All right. Yeah. Thanks for watching.